Lydia as we are a, a 20k community now. But... But it's, a, it's truly awesome. Um, anyway, uh, it's top of the hour every hour, six second hour break, and then I'm going to continue with the AOC drama uh, with Jimmy Dore in a second. Okay. Here it is. What? What is this Mike from PA uh, take? It almost makes you speechless that the man. Oh yeah, we're gonna watch this video. The man who can't go one video without making huge factual errors, and now he's an expert on parliamentary procedure. I remember when he argued that the Dems could filibuster Supreme Court nominees for four years, low Republicans immediately got rid of it. Can you play the Anna getting mad video? We already did it. it and getting mad at Jank, we already watched that. Just got broken up with thanks for always being a familiar face. Keep on fighting the good fight, Arjan X. Sorry to hear that, Trilogian. Remember when dad and mom would tell you cheaters never win? Well, I proved them wrong. Ha ha ha. I, prom I promised to support and defend the Constitution against all truth, so help me. Hell yeah, brother. Can you please resume the first that's video with Anna? Massive. We already finished it. We watched the whole thing. What the fuck do you want? Resume the whole video with Anna. We literally watched it. Did you want to rewatch it? Of like Anna yelling at Jank? We, we fucking watched it already. What do you want? Five months, Pogu. No, well, I didn't know, man. Uh, relax, geez. Well, then if you didn't know when I said we watched it, why are you saying no? Resume it. Thank you for being small head lol. Okay. So this is the Jimmy Dore video that's like making the rounds on on like left uh, Twitter Funny. today. Who is who? We he already, for those of you who don't know, the rest strong. of the fucking drama. Thanks I mean, I think this is a pretty good. Abby. Uh, this is a, a a pretty good rendition, I guess, it's a pretty good summarization of what the fuck is going on uh, with the with the uh, Jimmy Dore drama. Jimmy calls out AOC. Says AOC's not doing enough to fucking push for Medicare for all. Says that uh, you know AOC should use her power. Now that like there is uh, you are a, a slimmer soldier. margin in the in Congress, you advocate for AO, uh, to advocate for Medicare for all. Wants a purely aesthetic vote on Medicare for all from the Democrats. Uh, wants to put it to the floor at least, uh, so that uh, you know, and 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 hold Thanks Nancy Pelosi's uh, appointment leftist. over it. Um, over that says she's uh, fake. Um, and and uh you know a grifter or whatever and has like left the, the left or is like against medicare for all or something now <sighs> luminous report came out against you kyle kalinsky just turned on you aoc did you see that video <laughs> oh kalinsky turned on you <laughs> guess who else crystal ball guess 1917 women's suffrage was an aesthetic vote yeah, no, uh, women's suffrage, women's suffrage happened on accident. You're right. Um, because, uh, because like, uh, congressional, uh, Democrats wow. knew that, uh, congressional, uh, congressional Democrats in the house knew that the congressional Republicans in the Senate were never going to pass it. So they said they're going to go for it. And then boom, oops, before you know it, women can vote. I'm so glad that they duped their way. Yeah, there was no mass mobilization or anything like that. It just happened uh, purely when uh, w with this with this gamesmanship. 
good accident, just a happy, fun accident. Guess who else? Jimmy Dore. Guess who else? Medea Wait. Benjamin. Corno Every Wait, he, he just named himself. <laughs> we know Jimmy. Guess who else? Crystal Ball. Guess who else? Jimmy Dore. Guess who else? Medea Benjamin. Corno, everybody sees through you. Everybody sees through you. Except your fucking sycophant DSA dickheads in fucking Brooklyn. We see through you. Even my detractors see through you. That's right. Everybody sees through the squad now. And why AOC? I, I'm telling they're pushing her out there because she's the most sympathetic. And so idiots can say, stop attacking her when she is standing between you and healthcare and protecting Nancy Pelosi and her. AOC Sam, recently went on Jeremy Scahill's uh, intercepted uh, podcast and literally said, Nancy Pelosi needs to go. Uh, which from her position of profound influence and actual political power is uh, infinitely more significant as a take than any number of things Jimmy Dore can say, whether it be advocacy for Tulsi Gabbard, uh, who is, uh, is a fucking Joe Biden simp and a transphobe, or whatever the fuck uh, Jimmy Dore talks about on a daily basis. He will always, he's a co-worker of mine, ex-co-worker of mine, he will always... Always have my respect for spit, spitting on Alex Jones. Okay, that does not go away. Uh, I, I think that um, he's uh, he, he's had some good takes. He's had some takes that I disagree with. Uh, but, uh, you know, I haven't really paid attention to what he's been doing uh, on the internet since he left the Young Turks. Um, but, yeah, I, I disagree uh, with uh, the the... I think AOC deserves criticism, but I disagree with uh, this line of reasoning that like AOC is anti Medicare for all now or something like that. I I find that to be a rather range uh, POV. But then again, Jimmy Dore and I disagreed when we were both at the Young Turks when he said that uh, Donald Trump was going to be a peaceful dove and that uh, Donald Trump would be better than Hillary Clinton and uh, advocated for accelerationism. And I did not. I was <clears throat> against that, and I think I was right, and he was wrong on that, so. Yo. Tell Chad we need to bully politicians. They get mad when you say criticize AOC. No, I think uh, Chad has its own uh, way of simping for politicians, but I criticize Bernie Sanders. I criticize AOC. It's about what you criticize them over. If you criticize Bernie Sanders, for example, and say, well, you know, he's an imperialist, uh, warmonger, social democrat who does not go far enough because he's not like fucking, you know, uh, seizing AK-47s uh, from, I don't know, some uh, seizing AK-47s, intercepting like AK-47 transfers to the, from the CIA to like a paramilitary in the Middle East and then using those AK-47s to like infiltrate an American forward operating base and like killing U.S. military members then you're a psycho and uh, you should not be taken seriously. Uh, and, and by the way, like, you know, I'm, I'm obviously like joking and, and, but there are people who like literally think Bernie Sanders is not revolutionary enough. It's like, dude, you are, are delusional. Like you live in a, you live in a world where you are alone in your fantasy. Okay. If that's your point of view, like the, the, the expectation that these like politicians are going to be uh, leading the revolution is, is, uh, psychotic they are supposed to be our voices but it's outside pressure that is uh incredibly important here organizing is incredibly important here you are obviously joking like when trump was obviously joking yeah it's a little bit different when you're obviously joking and it corresponds to your fucking worldview when i'm obviously joking and i'm against what i'm talking about you have to be a complete psychopath to literally hear what I'm saying and think, oh, Hassan actually believes this, even though he is currently criticizing people who believe these sorts of things. Like, yeah, Trump was obviously joking about the, the caravan, and, and that's why so much stochastic terrorism occurred in America, right? There's a little difference between the bully pulpit and the power people have. Certainly will never be revolution with conceding careerists like AOC. Okay, so 
TX Capita is one of those like hardliner uh, lefties that I uh, sometimes uh, shit on in the chat, right? When they uh, chime in. So here's my take on AOC once again. AOC is not the end all be all of your movement. AOC is not the end all be all of our movement. If you have this over reliance on someone like AOC, then you are a silly bitch. Okay? She is a politician. Ultimately, politicians are not your friends. You should absolutely pressure them, but you should also make sure that you're pressuring them in the right way. You're pressuring them to do the right things. Okay? Like, expecting one fucking, like, uh, second year congressperson to, uh, to, to basically, like, a, a do a, a symbolic thing that you want her to do that is not going to get the movement or the cause anywhere anywhere at all is a ridiculous thing to have uh, grievances over okay you're right voting for sanctions and allowing the f-35 to be developed in your state is anti-imperialist see this is what i'm talking about he is Snark Lord here is referencing Bernie Sanders, who uh, got F-35s to be developed in the state of Vermont. That is not good. It's something I've criticized Bernie Sanders over in the past. He wanted to make sure that Vermonters had uh, this, this, uh, he wanted to make sure that Vermonters took advantage of the F-35s insanely expand, expanded budgets uh, and, and uh, create jobs in his state. I think that's bullshit. That's not a good move for Bernie Sanders. Uh, voting for sanctions, on the other hand, is, is something that Bernie Sanders has gone both back and forth on. So I don't know which sanctions you're referencing because he did vote against the sanctions on Iran and against the sanctions on Russia. So I don't know which one you're talking about. But I am a normal human being with a normal brain that hasn't been rotted by the uh, constant echo chamber feedback that I get from like-minded individuals who tell me that like every fucking politician is supposed to be a Marxist or anarchist revolutionary. Uh, so I can sit back and be like, Bernie Sanders is, of course, imperfect, but pretty damn near close to perfect in the grand scheme of things with, uh, with respect to the time and place. If you want to fucking organize, you have to recognize the importance of people like Bernie Sanders or the importance of people like AOC and all that they do to make left-leaning politics and leftist politics more mainstream so that you can organize outside of that okay that's how it fucking works you understand this and you know uh, damn well that politicians are not going to uh, uh take it to the fucking streets and if they were going to take it to the fucking streets they wouldn't be in politics to begin with but saying that like bernie is an imperialist warmonger is psychopathic or even following through on that. What about Bernie's vote for the crime bill? You wouldn't give Biden the same charity? Yes, you're right. Being the architect of the crime bill and the preceding bills that were so expansive that Ronald Reagan fucking vetoed it is exactly the same as criticizing the crime bill but then having to vote for it because you don't want to look like the kind of guy who's against punishing domestic abusers and also look like the guy who uh, did not want to ban assault weapons at the time. You're right. Um, literally the, the, uh, the advocacy for the crime bill, writing the crime bill and, and, and trying to push for it and pushing for like seven other fucking bills that, that expanded on that, uh, is, is the exact same as, uh, voting for it while simultaneously trying to erode certain parts of that and criticizing certain parts, most of the, uh, the, the, uh, punitive measures in the crime bill. This idea that a House vote on M4A would tell us anything is nonsense. Everyone knows it can't pass Senate, even if Dems control it, because Joe Manchin already said he isn't voting for it. Because everyone knows it won't pass, anyone who fears a primary challenge can safely vote yes if they don't support it. It's an empty PR exercise that accomplishes nothing, just like the weed legalization bill last week. Yup. Imagine criticizing real revolutionaries from your stupid fucking penthouse. Are you talking to me? You think I live in a penthouse? Also, who are the real revolutionaries? 
Like when, where are the real revolutionaries? I, I am unfamiliar. Uh, maybe, maybe I just, your Bernie bro is showing LMAO. What? I'm a Bernie bro? For, I mean, I am a Bernie bro. Who cares? Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, what? The real revolutionaries uh, as uh, Jimmy Dore? Is that who you're saying is a real revolutionary? There is a real revolutionary behind you. Has um. AOC was the first to say that they should force a vote on M4A and now all of a sudden she's naive about it and acts like it shouldn't happen in favor of her demanding nothing in return for her vote to maybe her Pelosi to give her a concession. Ugh. My take on this is a little bit different than other people's. Um, I think that AOC uh, and, and other people like uh, AOC and uh, what's the fucking Sirota and uh, Sam Cedar and other people have had more thoughtful, more nuanced approaches to uh, to to applying pressure to Nancy Pelosi. And I think that they are smart, and David Dane as well. They, I think they are correct in where you apply pressure. A symbolic vote on Medicare for all is just. Throwing into the fucking garbage. If you're gonna, I'm not saying you should not apply pressure to Nancy Pelosi. I'm not even saying that you should vote for Nancy Pelosi. I think Nancy Pelosi sucks ass. That goes like I don't think any of the any of us on the left are like, oh no, this is actually great, and we love Nancy Pelosi. What most people are saying, what most people are saying, or at least the people that I'm mentioning are saying is apply pressure in areas where you can actually make a change. Okay? In areas where you can actually make a change. A symbolic gesture on Medicare for All is not an area of change. But, um, but forcing certain cabinet positions or, uh, or, or using your uh, political bottlenecking power to, to, um, to get certain appointments or to uh, to to push for certain pieces of legislation is actually uh, a, a smarter, more effective way of using <clears throat> a smarter and more effective way of using your uh, political capital. Hassan, love the channel. Problem is I ran out of beer. Please help Venmo at Nick Needs Beer. I think it's a lose-lose situation. I said this before. I thought, I said that it, it's either, boom, purely symbolic and Democrats all unison, uh, vote in unison and say yes in Congress and not in the Senate, uh, knowing full well that it won't get passed in the Senate. Or they say no because they want to take it up as a, as a political battle against Medicare for All to like purposely excise the left from the political arena and uh in unison with the uh media start criticizing medicare for all and then it, for a symbolic fucking bill that it wasn't going to go anywhere anyway you are going to um you are you are now officially uh, just attacking medicare for all for no fucking reason and a lot of those voters a lot of those msnbc watching voters are now critical of medicare for all if they otherwise had a a more positive point of view I have someone who's watching. Oh, 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 penthouse. You're talking about uh, Jimmy Dore's house. Yeah, I don't really care about that sort of stuff. Uh, I think that you know, isn't a real leftist because she hasn't bombed the Federal Reserve. <laughs> What's honestly annoying is that this attention is exactly what Jimmy wants. He doesn't actually give a shit about Medicare for All. He just wants the media attention. He's a grifter through and through. I don't watch Jimmy Dore enough to know uh, where his allegiances lie. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Trouble gender. Thank you for the five tier one gift subs. Six months has the uh, words to prove that they will vote for Medicare for all in the house. It will most likely get voted in the in the house again. It's literally a lose lose, which is because I originally thought maybe they'll vote no in the house. 
And if they vote no in the House, then you have a coordinated, unified ago. media effort along with congressional establishment uh, Democrats who literally fucking use as an example of how the left want unicorns and how, uh, you know, leftists don't know how to do politics and purposely vilify the left and also attack Medicare for all at a time when they're not even interested in pushing for the public option. If you want to put pressure, I said, put it on the virtue of the public option. Let them attack the public option if they're not going to do it. It's a symbolic yes vote regardless, even if it is a yes vote. Jimmy Dore is an orthodox Marxist? No, he's not. What the fuck? Career. Key organizing moments may look like random uprisings and viral internet moments to some, but they aren't. They are the results of years of targeting, organizing, and people's movements. Hey, this took two weeks. This took two weeks. This took two weeks. From someone who already went bankrupt from medical bills. It took two weeks. How long you been fucking working on this? I figured this out in two weeks, AOC. You liar. You coward. You gaslighter. You standing in the way of people in health care. You run on health care and then you deny it to us. You dangle it in front of your fucking constituents. And then when you get there, you don't lift a Already fucking finger. Done a wall. And I'm the problem. Fuck you. You already voted for the CARES Act. Fuck you. And fuck anybody who is protecting her. Fuck you. You just keep digging in deeper. Eh? Why I've never seen someone so who smokes so much fucking weed get so mad all the time. So, uh, if, <laughs> of course, in, in classic Jimmy Dore fashion, Stituates. the error here is, uh, is, is claiming that AOC voted for the CARES Act. Uh, hassle, hassle, hassle. So that was that was uh, funny. Like she was insanely critical of the CARES Act. She's one of the few fucking voices who was literally like she was to the left of Bernie on that. Um So that's that's pretty funny as well. So Yeah, I I also didn't vote for the CARES Act when it came out. She was not only, she was not only, uh, the, the, I think the only person, if I'm not mistaken, that didn't vote for the CARES Act on the Democratic side, she also literally was like routinely agitating against it and, uh, even talked about it on, she even talked about it on, on the, the Interceptor podcast with, uh, with Jeremy Scahill on why she was against it. I mean, there's a long video of her that we watched scorching the fucking uh cares act and the reason for why w was because uh she thought it was a, a gross and massive uh a, a very sizable uh money cannon for corporations and she was right on it too anyway He says it wasn't a recorded vote, so that's how they got away with it. Yeah, with Jimmy, it's like you are either with me or against me. He makes great politics. Um. Matt had a good take on this whole situation discussion on Chapo's last episode. Did Jimmy really quit TYT because he got reprimanded by HR for his DM Twitter screed towards Fran while on his Patreon funded trip to Italy? I have no fucking clue. Ryan Grimm goes on a show. Yeah, equals grifter. Wait, what? The smarter play by AOC and the progs would be to ally with Pelosi and move her behind the scenes further left and have it. Dude, come on, dude. Pelosi not fucking getting moved further left. No. It's pressure. The only fucking move that AOC can have here is pressure 
and showcasing that like look if you want you want our our votes now that you have an even narrower margin for uh like any getting anything done in congress you're gonna have to fucking do what we ask you to do similar to not dissimilar to the uh, tea party coalition the freedom caucus in the republican party that's how you do it there's no like fucking befriending nancy pelosi behind the scenes or anything like that i think she's already like very uh uh, she already is like very friendly with Nancy Pelosi behind the scenes regardless like they're not she's just doing business you just want politicians to yell at everyone and be really mean like him that way change has always taken place in history by the way no I think that I, I, again the only good argument that I've uh, I've heard other people call it a good argument that I haven't read yet is this one from Brianna Joy Gray apparently she had a take on it that was pretty good Bro, people think AOC is some god or what? Like, bro, she's here for two years and did more than half of those leftists? Yeah, that doesn't matter either. AOC's out of flavor now? Guys, I have criticized AOC in the past uh, for uh, some of her takes on, on Israel, or I've criticized AOC in the past for not immediately rushing to defend, uh, what do you call it? Not immediately rushing to defend Ilhan Omar or, or being too late to defend Ilhan Omar, even though they're friends and... And I'm sure that, uh, you know, she would probably take a lot of offense to that uh, if she heard that, that was my uh, uh, point of view on the, on the matter. But I've also been extremely critical. Uh, this is the one issue that I am completely against AOC on. Okay, there's one issue where I am completely against AOC on. And that is League of Legends. The fact that she plays League of Legends is disgusting to me, okay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> canceled. Fucking canceled. Okay. Um, I'm just kidding. But um, I, I think that she's uh wasn't. I think her Venezuela takes weren't great either. Like there's some there's some stuff with uh foreign policy in regards to like Bolivia and Venezuela. Where I mean I'll I'll just look it up right now. But like. Unfortunately, we again, we don't have like fucking radical anti-war uh, lefties anymore. We just don't have them. So like most of the uh, most of the people that get into a position of power uh, is is they they turn out like they just don't have like very nuanced uh, points of view and are terrified of coming across as like aggro against American imperialism. Okay. But, uh, but she wasn't, but she wasn't like, uh, bad on Bolivia, by the way, for those, again, there's a thing that lefties do that I get very, 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 very upset about. And that is, oh, AOC was like pro Bolivian coup. Was she pro-Bolivian coup? Because it seems like Mike Preisner, who is like the fucking main lefty, and Abby Martin, who are the main lefties, and Michael Brooks, uh, seem to be in agreement with her take here that what happened in Bolivia is a coup. So maybe you're mistaking what uh, AOC was saying with like fucking Elizabeth Warren or something. Dankies. To be fair, being angry against foreign policy is literal crime these days. This is true. Anyway. Um, the AOC's, uh, AOC and Bernie Sanders is, uh, a point of view on Venezuela is bad. It's, it's, uh, it's in agreement with the rest of it's in agreement with the rest of the with the Democratic caucus and the Republicans, of course, because there's always partisan compromise there. Door clip chimped David Sirota. Notice that Jimmy Dore cuts off my video right when I literally said I totally agree with you and how you're framing the issue and choice. The dude literally cut off the video of me saying that I've dealt with dishonest people, but this is absurd. 
He got busted on it and then apologized and now just put out a video literally editing out me saying I agree with him. This is so incredibly dishonest and bad faith. I work in journalism. We fact check. We never pull shit like that. It's unethical on every level uh, to deliberately edit a video, cut off my quote about McCarthy agreeing with him and then bash me on that point is gross. Is the definition of malicious misinformation. Not trying to relitigate yesterday, but for all those interested, listen to what I said about Medicare for all here. Then listen to how it was misinterpreted after I went off air. For what it's worth, I'm glad Jimmy Dore uh, subsequently apologized. They have to drive as hard a bargain as they can, and I think it's good to force them to try to drive a really hard bargain. But ultimately, at the end of the day, here's the problem, is that when you're negotiating with people like Nancy Pelosi or Mitch McConnell, those people ultimately, at the end of the day, they, they don't care. Like they, they, like Mitch McConnell will allow thousands of people to die. Nancy Pelosi, I think ultimately at the end of the day, if you really demanded that she actually do something on Medicare for all, it was a choice between letting Kevin McCarthy become Speaker of the House, which would be a very bad thing, or doing something real on Medicare for all. I don't have a, a, a confidence that she won't, she would care to do the right thing. And, and so when you're negotiating with people like that, you know, that's the trump card, no, no pun intended, that they're willing to do actual true serious damage uh, to human beings. And, and that's a real that's a real problem when you're trying to negotiate with people like that. Nihal yeah. You. Uh, at some point, though, you have to. <laughs> that's why if I, they, if they I know agree. you're so if, a, if I'm, Nancy Pelosi, I'm not I'm not making a, a declarative <laughs> statement other than it is a really, really tough issue when you are negotiating with people who absolutely do not care about the consequences of their actions on thousands, if not millions of human beings. It um, I. What I hear you saying, David, is you're giving it an out for them to not do this. And that's no, disappointing. No, I'm not, I'm not giving them an out. Yeah, I'm you saying are. I don't know the answer to when push <laughs> really came to shove. If you said, I want these things that you really don't want to do, and that those lawmakers should then vote in the way that, you're, that we're talking about to elect Kevin McCarthy speaker. I just, I, you know, at that's the up very to Nancy end, Pelosi. And, and you keep, maybe you we keep, don't. Maybe it's, maybe no. it's sort of a moot point. You I keep don't know. Miss, you but keep, I'm saying, like, when I think through that, just as a human being, as a human being, I, I you're misframing right this. You keep as a human being, you keep misframing the uh, the issue. You're misframing it as, are you really going to hand it over to? No, that's Nancy as Pelosi's call. That's how you. That's called this. negotiating. Well, and what you're talking, well, no, what you're no, let me finish. What you're asking to do is negotiate from a position of weakness, and do you you have that energy of defeat already. So no, that, no, that is no, a mistake. I don't, I, I, I don't think I do. I I'm okay. only admitting. That we're dealing Thanks with people who don't care yeah. about you're, the consequences. You're saying of we their can't actions. fight. You're saying we and can't do it. Here's AOC happily meeting with the Bolivian fascist after Evo Morales was temporarily forced in the exile. She's either deliberately malicious or a complete fool, willing to take a picture with whoever will write her a check for another term and neutering uh, uh, discontent. Dude, I love that. I, I, I love this, okay? I fucking... I love this take because this is literally like... This is literally in line. First of all, I don't even know who the fuck these people are. Um... I, I love this line, this reasoning, because it is straight the fuck up in the same vein as, like, Donald Trump met with Kim Jong-un, okay? Donald Trump met with Kim Jong-un. He is... He is a fucking... Uh, uh, Donald Trump met with Kim Jong-un, therefore... Uh, he is bad. Like, he is bad. He should not be meeting with Kim Jong-un. Like, I don't know who the fuck these people are, dude. Those were her constituents. My oh my God. Shut the fuck up. Are you serious? We met AOC to discuss Bolivia and express concerns about her earlier tweet. Also chatted about current violence and democracy. She strongly supports our democratic grassroots movement, urges the interim government to stick to their mandate and call for new elections. Like. But Jimmy's argument was true. Left is saying we won't win, so don't try no. You give off the vibe that you acceleration voted for Trump? You know, do I give off the vibe that I accelerated my dick into your mom? Because I did that. Here's a ban for you. Idiot. Do you think AOC and the rest of the squad will call out Pelosi on this? I think AOC and the squad and others are constantly agitating for Medicare for all. I don't know why people think that this is just like calling for a vote in this circumstance. 
is not doing anything. Why did that trigger you, lol? Because there's a lot of fucking idiotic, brain-dead, centrist, liberal fucking Andes who come in here and say shit like, you voted for Donald Trump when I've been advocating for progressive causes before they were in their daddy's fucking ball sack as a piece of protein, okay? Half of these fucking 14-year-old Nazis that, like, are now uh, neoliberal, by the way, are, are uh, the people who have always stood in opposition to people like myself, but now act like because they voted for Joe Biden, they are, you know, doing the most profoundly uh, important political act. And so there is no space for them here. Anyway, um... Is this AOC standing with people that want to change the country they love, the type that values people lies over the authoritarian rule? Um, first of all, they are they are upset. These are her constituents that were upset with AOC calling uh what happened in Bolivia a coup. So very clearly they are uh in 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 favor of like at least having another vote. They might be uh they're they're at the very least anti fucking uh, Evo Morales. I don't think that Evo Morales is an authoritarian dictator. And if you think that, you're fucking either an idiot or... I don't know. I mean, you're just you're dumb. Or uh, unironically in favor of, like, uh, an accelerated uh, fascist, ultranationalist, far-right, uh, super-Christian, uh, violent coup d'etat uh, takeover. When do you think the right time to vote for MFA is? Con conservative Democrats will say no. When is the right time to bring it to the floor? If not now, when it's arguably most popular it's ever been. Uh, John. The right time to advocate for Medicare for all is when we actually have at least the majority. Okay? At least the majority in both the Senate and the fucking House. The right time to vote, the right time to advocate and apply pressure for Medicare for all is when we literally know that we could technically pass it if we want to. Okay? When we have organizations outside of the lefty uh internet circles also applying pressure no not 50 years dude shut the fuck up not 50 years what are you talking about it could literally be post georgia like what are you saying what are you fucking saying 50 years it could be post uh midterms like, it, it could be in the next year or next two years, as a matter of fact. But it all matters. It all is important. Why does your chat think if you are a leftist who doesn't like electoralism, that makes you a tanky? Um, I think it's because people who uh, shit on electoralism from the left are uh, delusional. Like, one way or the other, if you have a position that, like, your vote isn't all that significant, it's one thing, especially for the president. But if you think that, like, you shouldn't vote, and if you, like, constantly fucking rail on electoralism uh, from the comfort of your home, then you're fucking delusional and annoying, and it really sucks. And unironically, the Marxist-Leninists who say that shit sound a lot like the Anarchities that they shit on routinely. So, you know, maybe stop. It's just... Why do you act as though a Democrat majority will get us M4A when prominent Democrat candidates like Ossoff oppose it? Because when you have a Democratic majority, you have to fucking say yes or no. You can't, you can't put okay. a fake vote out there. But right now, when, right now, when we don't know who's going to have the fucking majority in the Senate, and you're like upset that, uh, you're upset that, that, um, in the lame duck session, when Joe Biden isn't even the fucking president yet, when we don't even know if the Democrats are going to have the Senate majority or not, like, this notion that you're, like, frustrated that this, like, purely aesthetic fucking thing is not being pushed is so stupid. It almost shows your, your like, your complete lack of awareness on, on how this is supposed to work. The right time to vote for a Medicare for all will never come. So much theory talk. These Marxist radicals are getting shit on repeatedly. IRL. Let's open a book and thumb through the pages while I'm being robbed. What? 
Okay, don't be fucking reactionary against the Marxist Leninist either libizzle. Not agree with me equals Nazi. What? I didn't even DSA say anything. forever, motherfuckers. The right time to vote on Medicare for all will never come. Even though the Dem supermajority blue dogs will exist who say no to it. What then? Again. Okay. The, the fundamental problem here is, okay. Here is my reply to Kyle. Kyle wants a vote for Medicare for all to be on the floor. Right? Why does he want that? Because he wants to know who the enemies are within the Democratic Party. Do I disagree with that? Absolutely not. Okay? So, I, I do agree with this right time to vote for Medicare for all and the public pressure. But the time to do it when people can effectively get on board and, uh, and, and say, yes, I want Medicare for all, when there is no... When there, when there is no certainty that like when fucking Joe Biden isn't even the president yet and that, uh, and, and that we don't even know, uh, if, if Democrats are going to have uh, the Senate majority, people can symbolically fucking oppose it or symbolically get on board with it. And it doesn't matter. Also, I don't, I, I need to once again mention that. If AOC tomorrow said, we're going to fucking push for Medicare for all, I would not stand in opposition and say, oh, it's the wrong time now. Just remember that. <laughs> Kamala signed on for Medicare for all. Exactly. If there was, if there was uh, an, an, uh, an organized movement to continue the pressure on the Democratic Party right now for Medicare for All, and the Democrats held the Senate and the House, and Joe Biden was president, and at that point you pushed for a fucking bill like this, and then we saw actually who was against Medicare for All, because you can't, you no longer can put together, you know, symbolic yes votes, right? That's the best way to do it. That is the best time and place to do it. If you were to push for a Medicare for all vote. We already know who is for Medicare for all and who is against it. It's literally on their webpage. No, no, there's dude, Kamala Harris is not for Medicare for all, but she is a fucking co-sponsor. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything right now. Anyway. The political posturing over a symbolic vote reveals any real useful information. So if Dems win Georgia, will you support a Medicare for all vote? I support a Medicare for all vote tomorrow if you want it. Like, I am critical of it. I'm critical of the people who are like fucking freaking out and losing their minds over it. But if they, I said it from day one. Like, if AOC was like, no, we're going to do it, we're going to push for a, a Medicare for all vote tomorrow, then I'm not going to stand in opposition against that. I'm for Medicare for all. Even if I think something is not the right move or not the sound move, I, that doesn't stop me from still advocating for it. Like, I don't care. I'm still going to try to make it work as best as possible. You can call me a grifter for that reason, uh, if you want, but that's it. I am. I am a grifter for Medicare for all. I want Medicare for all. Even if it's fucking symbolic, I will still... You are not freaking out because you have health care. Bitch, I pay $666 a fucking month for my health care. Suck my dick. I almost lost it when I left my job at the Young Turks last year. So, obviously, I'm better off than most other people. But, like, don't act like fucking I don't know what it's like. Shut the fuck up. God damn, dude. I'm on fucking Cobra right now, brother. Are you crazy? If AOC said, floor, said the floor vote should be forced, would you still have the same position? I would still think it's a symbolic uh, vote that's not going to go anywhere, but I would be in, in favor of it. Yes, I would. And the reason for why I would be in favor of it in that situation is because I'm in favor of Medicare for all across the board. So if someone 
is ag is advocating for it. I'm not going to stand in opposition against it. Do you not understand what I'm trying to say here? It's kind of like my approach to to the the Black Lives Matter protests that turn into riots. Do I personally think that uh, it's not a good look, sweaty, when BLM protesters get uh, hit in the head and and get beaten to a fucking pulp by cops, and then some of those protests turn into riots where they burn fucking uh, you know uh, small businesses and shit? Yeah, it's a bad look, sweaty. But why the fuck would I use that to consistently uh, shit on the Black Lives Matter movement when I agree with their overarching legitimate grievances. Well, Cobra is insane, but your income is also insane. Don't like like the every man on financial issues. Dude, dude, you are so fucking stupid, dude. I, I hate this fucking argument so much. It is not a fucking reasonable argument because I have the amount of subs Love I have story, now man. doesn't mean that I was in a fucking position of incredible financial security where I could pay $666 a month when I originally had literally no fucking, no, no guarantee and still don't have any fucking guarantee that I will have a permanent job, okay? Shut the fuck up. I'm not saying I'm the every man, okay? You hate to take us as true? No, I hate to take us as so brain dead and delusional and like not a fucking legitimate argument. How do you advocate for it without wanting to vote on it? I'm not even saying you shouldn't vote on it. You, I'm not saying you shouldn't fucking push for a Medicare for all. It's, it's meaningless without actual public pressure. But if AOC was in support of it and other progressive Democrats were in support of it and pushing for it, then that's it. We have moved. We have shot the fucking uh, gun that starts the race before I was ready for it. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to run. Do you understand? Do you get it? If my goal is to win the race and, and the person who has the gun that starts the race fires it before I'm ready, that doesn't mean I'm not going to run. I'm still going to fucking run and try to win. That's my take. It's, it's not the right strategy in this moment because it's purely symbolic and the negative consequences will be significant, okay? The negative consequences if they actually end up launching a full-scale assault against Medicare for All will be significant, okay? But I'm not going to stand in opposition and be like, uh, it's a bad time to do it. Internet, it's a bad I time to do to it. If they actually end up CP going forward with it. saw you playing it and just wanted to get your take on it. I think you thought I was trying to trigger you and you banned me. I just enjoy your takes. Love the content, please. Unbanned. Boo, your strategy is bad and you should feel bad if AOC says so. I'm down. Otherwise, I agree. It's not just AOC. AOC is like the, the pivotal person in this situation because that's the person who we're talking about. Drop the hammer. You are not doing any education, interacting with these chatter shit takes. You are on this platform. You've explained your stance so many times. New frogs and Normans learn over time. And the, the shit that really frustrates me about the money part of the conversation, uh, especially, is like, dude, I'm not black. I'm not fucking trans. I advocate for... I advocate for, for, for equality for black people. I advocate for criminal justice reform. Like, it, what do you mean? Like, what is this notion that like, oh, well, now you are financially in a really good fucking place. So that means like you can never understand or comprehend, exercise empathy or advocate for uh, the betterment of society. Like, you sound like either a Republican who is stupid as fuck or arguing in bad faith more or like Jimmy Snore, am I right? you're a, like one of those delusional fucking lefties who's like, oh, you literally cannot advocate for socialism while having an iPhone because iPhone iPhones have like conflict minerals, minerals in them and shit. Like none of the things I none of the things I advocate for, uh, uh, with some exceptions, personally fucking involve me. It doesn't matter. Like I should just stop. I guess I should just start telling people. Like some of you genuinely sound like uh like you want me to just stop doing what i do and you want me to stop telling people 
to fight for their fellow men and women and and envies uh, so because you know if you're privileged then you know fuck it be an, an individualist be an individualist why would you ever uh, care about the collective good you're not a part of it it doesn't fucking impact you so i guess i should just stop is that what you want me to do just stop advocating for the things i advocate for i i like it's so stupid Anyway, of course you're willing to change something that doesn't impact you. Typical liberal take. Wait, what are you like actually? Wait, hold on. I got to understand where this good dude is coming from. Libs molding, libs molding. Hassan, you're pro Islamic extremist. Typical liberal response. They throw balls in your face, dude. What do you expect? Radical liberal response. Trickle down economics don't work. Stop talking like you know shit. Wait, what? This guy is based as fuck on my own. In Canada, Medicare for all makes his way eight to twelve months for surgery. Why do you guys want this shit? What? But he said trickle down economics don't work. Trump is king. Or is he saying I oh he's saying trickle down economics does work? Well, okay, let me tell you something, brother. Here's a person that uh, is never is never going to uh, get anything good out of it. Um, so I know that a lot of you uh, conservatives run around and assume Hassel has. that like in this uh, anarcho-capitalist utopia, you will be the factory owner. So let me give you some harsh truths, okay? Considering the fact that this meritocratic system has elevated the likes of people like myself, um, I think you should probably recognize that uh, in this anarcho-capitalist utopia, you become biomatter. Uh, they melt you for Soylent Green. They melt you and turn you into food, or you become, if you are lucky, a, uh, a neo-feudal pet serf. Okay? You become a, a uh, you know, slave uh, in that anarcho-capitalist utopia. You don't become the factory owner magically if you can't even do that under these current circumstances. So maybe you should uh, stop thinking that the, the, the wealth is going to trickle down to you at some point when all is trickling down to you is the piss that other wealthy people are peeing on you from above How as they kick the ladder down, you dumb fuck. I was surprised to see you playing CP2077. Mods help a brother out here in trying to rejoin the community. Anyway. It seems like half the chatter subconsciously resent you for your successes by sharing your worldview. Yes. Peep, 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 peep. Wow, ow, 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 That's ow, understandable, has, has though. Loaded, Both sides of these arguments are incredibly valid. I think what you're saying is that whatever AOC does is a means to an end, and I think people are debating on how to get there, but your point that you'll support AOC despite what her approach getting a, a Medicare for All is what's important. Leftist Twitter is going fucking hog wild and insulting each other and breaking ties and all that shit is shown. We saw the left hasn't gotten his shit together because it was so fucking pedantic and petty. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You, you can call me a grifter all you want, or you can get mad all you want, or whatever. Like, when when uh, uh, people that I've aligned myself with, even fucking Jimmy Dore for that matter, even people that I fucking criticize all the time, as long as they are uh, advocating for the things that I'm advocating for, and, like, we might have differences in opinion on how to get there, I'm I'm going to defend them where it, it, it deserves to be defended. I am the ultimate big tent uh, leftist. I don't give a shit about left Twitter grievances. Um, there are there are people who I think are actual sharks in the movement that like have really 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 stupid fucking takes. Uh, there are people with like really stupid takes, like like people that fucking uh, you know heighten the reactionary grievances uh, that uh, that the Republican Party uh, believes in, and. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not even going to give them uh, any fucking uh, airtime here because they are irrelevant overall and they're just, like, specific voices on, on Twitter. So it's it's not even remotely important to me. Uh, but as far as... Uh, 
uh, what do you call it? As far as like, even fucking, listen, man, even neoliberals, uh, and, and uh, people who would otherwise like backstab, uh, lefties, uh, immediately and routinely do if they're fucking ultimately, if they're door knocking for someone like Warnock, for example, radical liberal Raphael Warnock, they are doing something that is good. If Democrats win the Senate, then that vote for Medicare for all matters. Okay. That vote for Medicare for all, all of a sudden is infinitely more significant. So I'm not going to sit around and fucking be like, oh, dude, I can't believe you're like, you know, uh, door knocking for, uh, for the, the uh, Senate race. That doesn't mean that I'm friends with these people. That doesn't mean that I like them. That doesn't mean that, okay, stop saying it's praxis either. Shut the fuck up. Like actually doing praxis. You sound like a fucking 14 year old who learned about the left from internet memes. Okay. Oh, this person is doing actual practice because they're door knocking. Like, shut up, 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 shut up. Anyway. So your take has changed since yesterday? What was my take yesterday? I think a lot of people don't even know this, but like, guys, I'm a lefty, okay? I'm a leftist. I think that the Democratic Party is horrible. And guess what? Behind the scenes, I have been working with... Here, here is a fucking... Here's a take. Some of you are probably unaware of this. Behind the scenes, I've been working with the Warnock and Ossoff campaigns for free to help them get on board with uh, Twitch, to put together a campaign for them on Twitch so that they can play uh, some video games and, and do uh, two entire days, uh, two entire days worth of content on Twitch in a get out to vote initiative for the past fucking two months. I onboarded them. I've been working with them. I've been getting them fucking uh, people to, to uh, be a part of this and, and partake in this. Like, it's not praxis. Okay, that's not praxis, but I've been doing that. Uh, it's not direct action either. I've been doing that for a very long time. And it doesn't matter. Like, I'm doing it because I want them to win. I'm doing it, uh, not because I think that, like, you know, John Ossoff is going to be the end-all, be-all in this movement, but I'm doing that because I think that it's disappointing as fuck. No matter, you've been blue, so blue, no matter who. Why, why have I been that? Do you think they're paying me? Do you think that there is any particular reason as to why I would, I would do that? Or do you think that I believe that, you know, increasing the minimum wage of $15 an hour would be pretty fucking nice? Like, it's so stupid. It's so stupid to be against that. Just recently started watching your content. Thanks for the laughs like, and new insights. It's so politics. funny that I have people in here that say I must have voted for Donald Trump because I fucking criticize Joe Biden and the Democratic Party all the time, and I'm actually a plant for the for the Republicans. And then there are other people in here that are like, "Oh no, you're a plant for the fucking uh, Democrats. You're a blue dog Democrat yourself. You're a conservative. You're a fucking op. You're an op for the leftist movement." Pogo. You talk too much for real. The viewer base won't grow like that. We need a live version of you. You say, as I am uh, one of the largest leftist commentators on like every single fucking platform. So I think the I think that my my yapper has uh, has been good so far. Before this M4A vote push, they were demanding nothing, and now you claim no. I've even before the M4A push, I said there are better, there Thank are better fucking depressing uh, things to advocate for in a, in a otherwise symbolic fucking vote that is not going to be meaningful at all. Symbolic votes within Democratic appointments that you can uh, agitate for and advocate for that would open up a pathway for Medicare for all down the line. At Hassan Abibo, not sure if you watch him, has a great take about M4A messaging to push conservatives. Would appreciate your take on it if possible. Love the stream. Anyway.
Hassan, I love your streams, but your chat is disgusting. It's not. There are annoying people. There's a fuckload of people that don't even talk. Uh, but there is all...